So one of my favorite stories in investing is the story of Theodore Johnson. So Theodore never made more than $14,000 a year, but he invested wisely. So at the end of his life, I think he died at 94 years old. He ended up having $70 million. So for those of you that read Money Master the Game, you know the story. And it has been told plenty of times. You can also go look at the New York Times interview where it was talked about. But <clears throat> um, this is really interesting. It's from a middle class family. He worked at UPS and he worked his way up to vice president. Um, he retired in 1952. So you guys can adjust for inflation, but his annual salary back then was 14,000. And the crazy part is he put majority of the money into that stock, which he worked at. And then the second thing that he did is he took advantage of compound interest. So he was a buy and hold investor. I know buy and hold is not the sexiest thing, but once again, we stated it last week. How can you get generational wealth if you're not willing to hold stocks for a generation? So he averaged about 11.9% over a 39-year period. And every bonus that he got, he put into the market. Every raise that he got, he stayed at the same level. And that's how he was able to amass that wealth. So for those of you who are like, hey, I don't have $70,000 to start with, start with what you have because the habit is way more important. 